like this. It's a wheel which is moving forward and velocity central mass is given as Vcm. Velocity central mass is Vcm. Okay? And let's say angular velocity is omega. Whose angular velocity is this? Which points? All the points on the rigid body. All the points. Huh? All the points. Every point has the same angular velocity on the rigid body. Okay? So I don't need to specify which point has this angular velocity. The entire rigid body has omega. Are you getting it? So if one point is rotating with respect to other point, for example, you are observing with respect to center of mass. At what angular velocity the other point will rotate with respect to center of mass? Same omega. Okay. With respect to center of mass, all the points rotate with angular velocity omega only, which is the angular velocity of the entire rigid body. Whether you observe with respect to center of mass on the ground or with respect to any other point, angular velocity will be omega only. As long as the person who is observing, he himself is not rotating. If suppose someone observer rotates and then observe, he will observe relative angular velocity. But if observer angular velocity is zero, observer can run in a straight line. Angular velocity is zero. The angular velocity will remain omega only. Ready? Okay. okay. See, the problem is that if I get into too much of explanation, it doesn't get simplified. Like if you have to dig deeper and deeper, it becomes more and more involved. Okay. So at times I will tell you just to take it on the face value. Right? Okay. Now tell me, related to center of mass, what is the velocity of this point and in which direction? If the radius is r, what is the velocity? This point is moving in a circle with respect to center at what angular velocity? Omega. And what is the relation between omega and velocity? r omega. Simple. r omega is the relative velocity with respect to center of mass. Which direction? Which one? Left or right? Left. So this is with respect to center of mass, R of the. Okay? Right? Okay? And what about this point, that point, and this point? Can you draw it quickly? Direction and compute. What about this point? What is the velocity? Which side? R omega down. Things are simple, okay? So we keep it simple only. Okay? This is R omega that side and this is R omega. Okay? Now tell me, stop talking, a point over here where this angle is 45 degree and the distance is R by 2 from the center. What is the relative velocity of this point with respect to center? Huh? R by 2 may not be the relation. Huh? E cap. Which direction? Explain it. It will be 90 degree to this line or not? This point is moving in a circle, so it will be tangent to the circle, which is like this. If this is the radius, it has to be perpendicular, a tangent, yes or no? So the velocity of this point related to the center of mass is r by 2 omega, like that. Okay? It is a circular motion. Right? But the problem is we have only found out the relative velocity. How to find out the total velocity? You add the velocity of center of mass. So can you find the total velocity of these four points? Do it. Total velocity. This is the relative velocity of the What about topmost point? We have to add the velocity center mass, which is, which is in this direction. So total velocity.
you this point is r omega minus vcm this way or vcm minus r omega that way get it what about this point you have to add this velocity vcm this way so total velocity is root over r omega square plus vcm square it is 90 degree they are vectors right getting it this point r omega plus vcm that point it is as shown so total velocity will be again root over r omega square plus vcm square and if you do the vector addition net velocity will be this way Okay, fine. So whatever we have learned in the vector chapter, which is getting a little bit of that is used here. So, isn't it much easier to observe first with respect to center of mass and then add whatever center of mass is doing to find the total velocity? If you don't do that, the motion of all these points become very complicated. This point, as this wheel moves forward, will follow some weird path. It will do something weird. Getting it? Any doubts till now? No doubts? Okay. So let's solve this question. Simple one. Draw a circle. You will not be able to draw as good as this circle. Trying to. Stop talking. Radius is R. Angular velocity omega as shown. Okay. And the center is going forward with Vcm. Okay. Alright. And it is given that Vcm is equal to R omega. It is given. You need to find the total velocity of this point, which is at a distance of r by 2 and making an angle of 30 degree with the find out the total velocity of this point. Related to the center of mass, which direction will go? Down like this. And how much will be this velocity? R by 2 into omega, right? R by 2 into omega, which is what? Vcm by 2 only. Okay, so this is R by 2 into omega, and I have to add Vcm on it. This velocity I have to add. Okay, and this angle is how much? How much? This is 90. This, this is how much? 60. So this is 60 degrees. Okay. So I have to add two vectors. One vector is this, other vector is that. This is Vcm and this is Vcm by 2. And this angle is 60 degrees. Can you find out now? Total velocity will be? You know how to add two vectors? Root over a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta. Do it. So under root of vcm square plus vcm square by 4 plus 2 into vcm square by 2 cos of 16. This is root over Vcm square plus Vcm square by 4 plus Vcm square by 2. How much is this? What? 
VCM root 7 by 2. Okay. So it becomes very simple to first observe with respect to center of mass and then add what center of mass is doing to find the total velocity. Read out. Okay. Now let's see with acceleration what we can do. This is an object which is accelerating with angular equation alpha and linear equation a. Right? You need to find the acceleration of these four points quickly. Thank you. 